black people. See, this is why y'all come to my channel when it comes to the cartel. You know, I'm going to break it down. Understand, like, don't fall for no golf cartel and the Mexican government coming together and they turning in them five suspects about that, uh, about them five people or four people. Was it four? Yeah, four people that got kidnapped. Man, don't fall for that, man. It's all about money with the government over there. They need the money from America that America bring. Come on, man. Like, uh, last year, right, we spent like, they made like $22 million from people coming over there spending money. $22 billion. But, and they trying to bounce back. They still playing catch up because they took a hit. Yeah, in 2020. Yeah, 2020, they took that COVID hit. Yeah, because in 2019, they made like uh, 25 billion. They made 25 billion. I'm coming off top of the dome. They made like 25 billion, right? Uh, then in 2019, they got hit for uh, that COVID came and they got hit for the, uh, they took a loss. They made like 11 billion. Um, 11 is some change, close to 12, uh, but like, but like 11.8, you know what I'm saying, 11.7. Um, they took that, they took that hit, and then they bounced back, you know, 2021. And then last year, you know, they made 22 billion, so they still down about 3 million. And then what's coming up, we got spring break, we got the summer. They ain't trying to mess that money up. 13 million people traveled to Mexico last year. They ain't trying to mess that bag up. America bring clean money. Y'all got to understand, the golf cartel own a lot of, and different cartels, they own a lot of hotels, Airbnbs, or whatever y'all can do over there to have fun. They own all that stuff. If they don't own it, they are storting it. If they don't own it, they are storting it. Understand? So, they can't mess up that money. That's how they clean their money. Money laundering. So, nah. America don't really care about them black people that got kidnapped. They got criminal passes and all that stuff. You can easily shut that down with that. They don't care about that. It's just business. The black people, y'all got to understand, like, our government and they government, they make so much money under the table with drugs, with oil, with human trafficking. Yeah, we involved with that a lot, heavy. Drugs and everything that y'all can think of. Legit stuff, too. Yeah, legit stuff. Food, whatever. You know, a whole bunch of stuff, trucking, all that there. So, uh, one thing that the white man know and the Mexican man know, when it comes to black people and they dying, all you got to do is say you sorry and black people going to buy it. That's all you got to do. The Mexican cartel and the Mexican government, they watch when the police blow us down and all they do is say we sorry. They watch when Gucci call us monkeys. And all they do is say we sorry. We come back. We spend more money. So all they got to do is say we sorry. They the toughest. They know black people think we the most toughest and roughest done daughters in the whole land. You know, so we say we sorry. It's going to shock them. They going to forget about that. Yeah, so you don't think America can call them and be like, all y'all got to do is say y'all sorry. Because <laughs> look at it. They can easily bring up the deaths. Look, last year only uh, from January 2022 to like June, right? Uh, only like 25 people died. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? About murder over there in Mexico. 115 people died, but 25 died from homicide. And then you got the other people, they died from like suicide or uh, drowning themselves, something like that. Um, and then in the year before that, 2021, now that was a little bit rougher, you know, uh, 75 people died. I mean, 75 people got blown down. And then like, um, it was like, damn, I'm trying to go off the top of the dome, uh, 203 deaths. So we really pay attention, like in 2021, 200 some people died. Only 75 people got blown down, but 28 million people came over there and visited. 28 million Americans and only 75 got murdered. <laughs> the rest, they drowned and took their own life. So is it really that dangerous? But the Mexican government know, the cartels know, the Jew government know over here, uh, uh, the white man government know over here. Black people, us, we take little small things, which 
it's a body, so it ain't small, but I'm saying like uh, the numbers are small, right? We'll take that right there, so two murders, we'll take that and blow it out of proportion. Like we'll, you know, at like we just get slaughtered over there. You know what I'm saying? And we run like social media and we'll make a trend so other races uh, follow us because we trendsetters, so they can't have that there. So that's going to hit nip that in the bud. Like, hold up now, oh, 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 oh. Y'all, it's safe over there now. It's still safe. That's what they're going to make y'all think. <laughs> they like they can be like, y'all want to compare numbers? Hey, like, man, they can easily drop the numbers and shut everybody down. Like, hey, only this many people getting knocked down and this many people, you know, getting robbed. And we talking about American people. You know what I'm saying? First, you know, American people over there on y'all own land. It's more dangerous for y'all in y'all own land than when y'all come over here. You know, uh, they just don't want to mess up the money. They don't really care how we feel. They just don't want us to be mad and not come over there. But they, they want us to spend that money. So maybe this summer the prices may be a little cheaper to bring us back over here because we trend set so they can want us to come back. Oh, no, 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 no. Safe, 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 safe. Whatever happened, they talk, you know what I'm saying? Then, you know, like, for the drug market's sake, the main thing in the human trafficking, right? They don't want to, you know, not do nothing or say nothing or have no suspects. And uh, especially, like, we know who it is. Like, we know what cartel, right? They don't want our government, really. They really don't want to do it, but they'll do it just to please us, right? They don't want to, you know, have our government apply pressure to them and, it make it harder for them to, you know, move drugs and stuff like that. We don't really want to do that when it's finna be hot outside. So that's a lot of millions, billions of dollars. I mean, billions that they uh, mess up. <laughs> so yeah, we'll turn these guys in, these five guys in. We'll let y'all have them guys that turn themselves in. They're gonna make more money doing that, turning themselves in, than they did working every day. Yeah, they're gonna be straight in jail. They're gonna be straight in prison. They're gonna be straight. Uh, it, yeah, it could be rough for them. Yeah, it could be, you know. But um, who's to say they'll do life? Unless they turn them over to America, who's to say that they'll give them life? We'll forget about that. We ain't going to be keeping up with that case. We ain't going to be keeping up with that case. They can pay the victims some money, and they'll be on their way. They can pay them some money. Give them $500,000, million or something, a million apiece. A million apiece, and they be happy. They smart. They playing their cards right, for like business. And we ain't really deal with them, for like with business. Nah, they wouldn't do that, duh. They would not do that, duh. It's all about money. They cartels own them hotels and all that stuff, or they're extorting them. It's so much, man. Twenty-five billion dollars last year in revenue. So yeah. Um, with them getting shot at, you know, they could be out of balance. You know, like I said in the first video, they could be trying to buy meth or fentanyl, stuff that make you overdose. The golf cartel, they don't like stuff like that. They'll blow you down. And of course they may still sell it, you know, you know, you got, but yeah, they don't, as a whole, they don't like that. Yeah, they don't like that. So, uh, and you black, you American, that's what that was, man. Um, they made a mistake, you know. Why not make a little small sacrifice? Get them five people up. Or just give five people up. Make it look good. Come up with a good story, a good, I'm sorry, and all that there. Because we don't want to mess up billions of dollars with that little petty play. And they ain't even had nothing. We killed two of them, so <clears throat> we up, we win. We not two of y'all down. Y'all government ain't going to do nothing. Yeah, they gonna get locked up, but that's normal. You know what I'm saying? That's normal when somebody turn themselves in for a crime. Yeah, but two Americans still gone. You know what I'm saying? They can pay the victims. It ain't nothing, man. It ain't nothing to make a couple of M's off human trafficking or drug trafficking. It ain't nothing, man. Or uh, uh, 500000 They ain't got to give them that much. They survive, so they ain't really got to give them a million apiece. They can give them 500000 man, a piece. You know what I'm saying? They can drop an M and they'll take that. <laughs> They'll take that. Don't come to court over there. Money will change their life, man. You know they'll take that money, man. Come on, man. They from the streets, man. Little girl trying to get surgery. and But they, they got a criminal past. And they do, you know, alleged. They do buy drugs. Everything I'm saying, alleged, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They do buy, you know, they get down, alleged. 
you know, that's still a legend. Ain't a hundred percent true, but you know that's what they say. You know, uh, so they take the money. <laughs> they definitely take that money. Uh, so that's what it is, man. You know, um, and they talking about some. The cartel talking about something. They broke a rule. No innocent people die, or you don't mess with the innocent people when they do that to their people every day. There ain't no rule for the cartel. Yeah, story. If that was the case, they wouldn't make no money. They wouldn't be as strong, man. We wouldn't film. They ain't hurt innocent people. It wouldn't be nothing to film. Why would everybody be scared of the cartel if they didn't hurt innocent people? <laughs> That's why regular white people are not really scared of street guys. They don't move out of the way when they walk up because <laughs> they don't hurt them. They don't hurt innocent people, but the white people would be scared of the cartel. <laughs> yeah, if you really start attacking them, you know, what make white people nervous is when you say it's a serial killer around the area and he knocking either men down or women down and they'll put fear in them or say it's a sniper and people be ducking like they did with the DC snipers. They'll put fear in the whole community. But if it's just gangsters, you know, nah, you scare them. You scare them females and you scare them males. You know what I'm saying? You scare them. You don't scare them type of people, the middle class and the rich. You gotta really do something first. You gotta walk up to them, rob them. Shoot them. You can't just walk in the room and they be like, oh, oh, hey, King Vine, oh, oh, whatever gangster you can name, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we, we so, yeah they ain't gonna do nothing like that, though. They ain't gonna buy the hell, give you no street credit. And you go in the banks. When the cartel go in the banks, though, they buy down, the banks buy down. When the Colombians was in uh, Florida, the banks was buying down. Yeah, you can put the money in, all the dirty money. You can put it in here, yeah, we'll hold it, we'll hold it, we'll hold it. Yeah, it's a difference. So, if they didn't hurt innocent people and police officers, it wouldn't be nothing to fear. So, that's a lie. You can't just say anything. Some people, they're going to buy it, but you can't say anything, man. But since, like, the top of the year in January, they done put up signs saying don't travel. It ain't safe in certain areas in Mexico. But we ain't paying attention. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially if you over there trying to, you know, get a package, you know, or handle your business. So yeah, you're gonna ignore them signs. Um, but America, don't forget now. Yeah, you can't get extorted and kidnapped and all that there and blow down over there. But I told you the numbers. But over here, <laughs> that's what that's what we're gonna rob you for, or knock you down for. <laughs> Rap songs. Yeah. We're gonna blow you down for that. Comments. Comments on, on IG, on Facebook, on YouTube. We're gonna blow you down for that. Driving kills. Yeah. Driving kills. Ask them New Orleans boys. Yeah, them Kia boys. Yeah, they come in heavy. Yeah, you better get out that Kia. They go, yeah, knock you down. Yeah, you driving track hawks and Hellcats and Scats and Ram trucks and all that there. Yeah, you gotta come about that. Duh. Little demon will blow you down at that light by that scat pack, man. Come about that scat pack, man. I need that there, man. Man, a demon will blow you down by them joys, man. Them Yeezys, man. Them pocketbooks. Ma'am, them pocketbooks. Ma'am, yeah. Joanna, man, yeah, y'all too. Joanna, man, yeah. Little small stuff like that. You talking about, oh, going over here in the wrong hood? You wearing the wrong colors? You gonna get the same thing. You could get blown down, female, male. Yeah. Don't forget now, over here, when you look like me, in certain neighborhoods you can't go in without one of these in your face <laughs> and they're gonna pull the trigger you wish they won't all they want is your wallet and some money you wish they could say you know how many people that wish they could be alive today if they said hey give me 500 we'll let you go <laughs> give me 1500 we'll let you go <laughs> give me a thousand but it'll be a whole bunch of people still alive today yeah if they said that duh but nah where you from who yeah, they on that duh, so <laughs> don't forget that duh now. And we ain't gonna stop going to uh, Florida. <laughs> Florida can have 600 murders last year. We, we still going down now. Yeah, CIAA in Baltimore. Baltimore had 500 murders, 400 murders last year. We still going up there, CIAA. Yeah, Cali, they getting robbed every day. Government say, don't come here. We going now. Summertime, wintertime, if we go in there, Atlanta is hot. They're doing a lot of carjacking and robbing and shooting and all that duh. And we still going. Atlanta's mall, we still going in there. 
We don't care about none of that death. So how can this, how can this right here in Mexico feel us? I'm just saying, you got to ask yourself, like, he was just a murder at the mall last week in your city, a shooting at the mall, and you still going to go next week. Next week, somebody got jacked for their shoes out there. You still going to go. You go to the same club, they catch bodies in there. You going to still go there. You still going to go. You know they're going to shoot at the finesse two times concert. You know you still going to go. You know you could lose your life at a gorilla. <laughs> at a gorilla, third victim that passed. Yeah, at a Travis Scott. You know it could be a ritual. You still going to go. You still going to go. Beyonce can say, I'm dressing up as Satan. We're going to do them rituals. She can say that on my tour and still sell out. You still going to go. Yeah, so but you that happened in nah ain't no more Mexico. It's cool. Hey, I'm with it. <laughs> hey, if my people with it, this that's cool. I don't gotta go over there. I'm just saying though. <laughs> I thought we loved danger. That's why we made all these rappers rich. I thought we liked stuff like that. We can deal with that. Or is it because we can't have no guns? But that's the reason why most of us become victims over here, because Old lady, that old woman, she had no gun. When she got kidnapped. <laughs> she had, yeah, she had none either, yeah. That's the whole thing, like. Um, but you know, everybody got their opinion. And you gotta respect that though. So if y'all feel like I'm wrong, y'all drop them comments, man. Uh hit that like button, hit that share button, hit the share button, man, hit the like button, man, hit the subscribe button, man. Come on, man. How you ain't gonna subscribe to the channel, man. What's up with you, man? Man, that's crazy, man. She just don't want to subscribe. Man, what's up with you, man? But you still watch though. I respect that, though. I respect that. Just keep watching and hit the like button or something, man. God damn.